Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Laura Bain. Filming segments from home is still relatively new to me, but my next guests are much more familiar with filming themselves from home. They've been making their vlog Accessible Adventurers for about a year now. It's about their many adventures as an interabled couple. Here's a clip. Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Dee. And welcome to our YouTube channel, Accessible Adventurers. We're an interabled couple living in Canada who create videos every week about accessible travel, disability awareness, and our everyday life. I live with a spinal cord injury, and you will learn how we adapt to go on as many adventures as possible. To tell us more, Kevin Penny and Dee Osmond are joining me from their home in Halifax. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having us. You've been making your vlog Accessible Adventurers for about a year now. What's it all about? Well, um, you're right, Laura. About a year ago, we started this YouTube channel, I guess, called Accessible Adventures. And we just wanted to kind of showcase some of the adventures that we do on a day-to-day -day basis and throw accessibility in it. And being an interabled couple as well, kind of showcase how that works as well. We thought some of our friends and family might have some questions. Um, about how we do things and um, we had, an, well, we still have an Instagram account also called Accessible Adventures, which we've been doing for a few years. And that was really fun to kind of be able to share our photos of our trips and adventures with people that we knew and that we didn't know, but we felt like those pictures didn't really tell the full story of what was going on. So it was kind of fun to um, start making the vlogs because that really shows kind of the behind the scenes um, that I think people are curious about also. Right, and what sort of things do you do in your vlogs? We usually try to focus on accessibility. We've done one like our top 10 favorite things to do on the waterfront um, that's accessible. We've gone to the beach. Where are we, Kevin? Chilling at the Clam Harbor Beach. We've gone to the lake. We've gone to the Oval. So those ones kind of show like our whole adventure, like how we get there and what we do when we're there. And then we've also just done some where it's more of like a Q&A style video where people will submit questions and we'll answer them. Um, and then our video that actually is the most popular right now is um, our evening routine video. So today I'm going to showcase my evening routine all from going from the lift to the bed, to my bow care, to shower, the whole routine. Yeah, so I was actually going to ask you about that video because it is very personal and we even see you in the shower, Kevin. Um, did you guys have any anxiety about posting that? And is there anything that's off limits to your audience in your videos? We keep it PG-13. That's what you're asking, Laura. No, uh, it, was, it was a little nerve wracking at first. We talked about doing it for a while and I was like, well, if we do it properly, it should be fine, I mean, so, I, I mean, after we started filming and doing that video, I didn't even really remember the camera was there much anymore, it was just kind of a normal thing, which I think showed off in the video after it was done and everything, it was just kind of us doing our thing. Why do you think that the nighttime routine video was so popular? I think it comes down to curiosity. It's probably the questions that people wouldn't ask or people wouldn't want to ask, and I think it's just comes down to curiosity and people often wonder how I do things differently and then I think in the end it shows things aren't done much differently just with some adaptations and uh, a different approach to it. I think that people it would be something that people would be too shy to ask us about um, and it may be something that people don't even think of as well um, and I think it's kind of neat to show that caregiving role I guess that I have and show that it's not this big scary thing um, because it, we read comments on our friends' YouTube channels who are much more established than us, and it's often comments around caregiving and how does that affect your relationship. And I think I wanted to just show that, you know, the routine is what it is, and you can still have fun um, when you're doing your everyday routine. Um, and that it is just a small part of our lives, um, a small part of our videos, but it's a part that we need to show, but there's also many other parts to our relationship and our everyday lives. Is there any sort of takeaway that you're hoping people will get from your vlog? Um, gosh, I think the big thing is that people with disabilities, um, whatever their situation, still can go out and do things that they enjoy. Um, try to showcase the accessible world or non-accessible world that we live in sometimes and, and just show different opportunities for different people. If people want to watch your videos, where can they go to watch them? 
We have a YouTube channel, it's called Accessible Adventurers. This week we actually hit 500 um, subscribers on our YouTube channel. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, hope that one day we might be able to make this a little money venture, but we're still having fun as we do it. It's only been a year and we're hoping that we can do a lot more fun things that people might be wanting to watch. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me today and for chatting about your vlog. Thanks a lot for having us, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks so much, Laura.